and today I have a styling video for you guys. I'm going to show you how I style my 1460s Dr. Martens. I'm going to do a quick review and some tips and tricks to break them in easier. I got these about a year ago and they're probably the best purchase I've made in a really long time. They're definitely worth all the bucks that you spend on them. They're super comfortable and I wear them to school a lot because they're very easy to slip in and slip off, especially for those days you're running late to class. You can just chuck them on and turn out the door. And some tips and tricks to break them in easier. One, you can rub Vaseline inside the shoe so it loosen the, loosens and softens the leather a bit so your feet are not dying. Two, you can double sock so your skin doesn't rip and bleed because mine did rip and bleed a couple times. I don't know if my feet are abnormally large or something, but I did. And double socking does protect them a bit. And three, only wear them if you're walking short distances. So you're not going to be wearing them if you're going to a party or you're going to be hiking or something like that. Only wear them if you know you're going to be walking only a little bit. I would wear them if I had to walk a block or two to a grocery market or whatnot. And that's about it. All you need is a bit of patience and after the week of hell, or it took me a week at least, you're going to fall in love with these babies and they're going to be the most comfortable shoes ever. This is probably the most laid back outfit out of all four and I think it's because of the varsity jacket. And I love this varsity jacket because it's oversized so I can layer with it and the maroon color. I think the maroon color pairs really nicely with the gray tee that I'm wearing under and this tee is perfect for spring because it lets the wind in and lets the wind out. It's very breezy and feels really good and I tied it into a 90s knot so I can showcase my skirt a bit and it has daisies all over it and speaking of daisies it reminds me of the upcoming movie The Great Gatsby and I can't wait for that movie and this skirt is very flowy and it's really feminine so I think it works really well with the rough and toughness of the Doc Martens. I almost felt like I was becoming one with nature as I was wearing this jacket. Anyways, under it I'm wearing the chiffon blouse and it's one of my favorite thrifted pieces. I love how it showcases the shoulder area. It's going to be great for spring and summer months because of the chiffon material. I also like how it scrunches in the wrist area so you're not drowning into the flowiness of the shirt. I decided to pair it with this necklace because I think it matches with the whole boho type of vibe. For bottoms, I'm wearing these maroon high-waisted denim shorts. They were actually pants, but I cut it into shorts. And I really like the interesting pocket detailing and the studded detailing. I think it gives a western type of feel to it. And over it, I'm wearing this camo jacket because I just really like how red and green look together. Maybe it's because they're complementary colors or something. And also, I think the camo jacket matches really well with the Doc Martens. I feel like this look is a bit too breezy to wear on the east coast but for all you southern girls you can totally rock this. For my top I'm wearing this lace crop tube top and I love lace I think it's a very feminine piece and I love pairing this with high waisted stuff. I thought why not wear my purple cardigan with it because the cutout detailing all over the cardigan pairs really nicely with the lace top. And from shorts, I am wearing these DIY high-waisted shorts to add a bit more interest to the look. I bleached half of it just because I felt like it. And to accessorize, I am wearing these golden earrings. I really like the geometric patterning of the earrings. For some odd reason, I get this rock and roll punk type of vibe whenever I see this outfit. Well anyway, I'm wearing a lace bustier for my top and I just really like bustiers matched with maxi skirts because I feel like they almost look like a dress so I really like how it looks. I paired it with this cost necklace because I think gold and black look really good together. And I love mesh. I actually cut off the bottom portion of this skirt so I can show off my legs a bit. I feel like mesh is... A good way to show off skin but not such in a blunt sense and I belted it to segment the look and over that I'm wearing this jean vest that 
you've seen in my previous videos so I don't show off way too much skin. I thought I'd add a pop of color on my lips because the entire outfit was a bit dark. Thank you.